Hey there everyone, today I wanted to take you through my uh, workbench build and this bench was built about 17 years ago. Um, when I did it I wanted to make sure that if I was working on a on a project that I didn't have to worry about moving the saws around and elevating the wood. I wanted to make sure that if I was running a piece of wood, a piece of plywood, I was ripping a board uh, I'd be able to just do that right on the bench without without any kind of adjustment to the tools. So the first thing you'll see is a table saw um, built in here and flush with the bench, so you can you can run a board right right through, and it's absolutely smooth, no interruption in your work. If you want a router table, I have one down here. It you can just reverse these and you can use a router table at the top instead of a table saw. And then you come over here and you've got the DeWalt sliding compound miter, the same thing, uh, same level as the workbench, so your work uh, doesn't get interrupted by you know, having to prop up the wood or whatever it is. Uh, we've got room underneath for things like the, um, uh, the, the shop vac, of course, you have to have room for the zip ties. Look for my zip tie video. Room for the generator, toolboxes, uh, scrap wood. I built in an old stereo. Remember these? I don't even think this works anymore, but anyway, I got the speakers up in the ceiling. Uh, and of course, shelving for all the other tools and boxes here works out pretty well for me hopefully um, you can get some ideas just from looking at this and uh, build yourself one